Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and this is kind of hard to admit, maybe even a little bit embarrassing, but I have this drawer, and I'm hoping that some of you have a drawer that's just like this so you understand what I'm talking about, but I have this drawer that is filled with some of the most random gun cleaning equipment that you've ever seen. It's stuff from kits that I've been putting in there over the years where I've lost little pieces, I put other new kits in there, and those kits got mixed together, so like two-thirds of the stuff in my gun cleaning drawer don't actually fit together. And so they just sit in there all the time. And it's really caused me to kind of neglect cleaning my firearms because I hate digging through it, uh, trying to find maybe a nine millimeter bore brush and then I can't find uh, any type of you know rod that it'll fit to or adapter that'll fit the rod, that'll fit the bore brush. And it becomes this big pain in the butt. So I was on a search for a good gun cleaning kit where I could put everything together in one spot and have everything that I know fit. So I took everything from that drawer I put it all into a bag and I put it in my garage and I picked up something that is really cool that I want to share with you guys today. This is the Allen Gun Cleaning Kit. It's a tactical gun cleaning kit. And in this box right here, completely organized, everything has its own spot. In this kit right here, you have everything from your, for your rifle, your AR-15, uh, your pistol, and your shotgun. So everything right here. The only thing that, that it doesn't come with is like cleaners, lubricants, and, and things like that. But as far as like the bore snakes, the bore brushes, and everything else, Everything fits together, everything works together, and it's for all of my firearms just in this one kit right here. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today, this 66-piece tactical gun cleaning kit from Allen. Okay, so here's what the outside of the box looks like. I'll go ahead and I'll move my hands out of the way. You guys can go ahead and pause this if you want to read that and see if it has anything that you're looking for specifically for your kit or if it has all the stuff you want to do if this is something that you'd be interested in. Let's go ahead and open this thing up now and we will see exactly how they have this thing set up. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the exterior of the container. You can see here that it's about the same size as just an average toolbox or even a tackle box, something like that, so it's not overly big. It has two latches in the front. These are plastic latches, but they feel pretty, uh, pretty nice and secure. We have a spot where you can use a lock in order to lock this thing, a carry handle, and then we have two windowed compartments at the top. These are, I'm gonna say, probably about a half of an inch deep. They might be good for, you know, extra hex heads or Torx wrench bits, uh, maybe even some punches, anything you might need in order to take down your firearm, or even some of those unique AR-15 cleaning tools, you might be able to put something like that up there. Uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and I'll show you one of the biggest reasons that I got this. And I, I absolutely, I love this part. Look how organized this thing is. It is extremely well organized and this was my biggest thing. So as long as I use this and I put everything back where it goes in its specific spot, I should always have everything and everything that matches up. So we have the cleaning rods, we have our handles, we have here what is like a, this is like a universal bore snake. So it's a pretty small bore snake. I'm gonna say that's pretty close to a 22 caliber end right there. I'm not sure you could use that for anything smaller like a 17 HMR, um, but still that's there and it's uh, somewhat universal we'll say. We have some cleaning patches. Uh, we have some extra cloths. This is just some soft cloth material. We have Q-tips, a brass brush, which is really nice. We also have a pick and we have a nylon brush. Now the cool thing is we could take this whole thing out if we wanted to and you could see the bottom of the container. Or you just take this part off. We have another spot below it that kind of keeps everything all separated uh, for you. Let's we'll see if we can separate this, pull it apart. There we go. And here you can see all of our brushes and our swabs. And we have what looks like a little metal board. Oh, okay. Well, here's a real small one. This is a, a tiny boar snake ad attachment. And I think that this would be perfect for maybe even a 17 HMR. I'll have to look up and see, you know, look that up, see exactly what it's for. But that's a tiny, tiny little brush on the end of it. So here you can see we have some different types of bristles here. We have brass bristles, we have our brushes. Uh, these are all brass connectors. So you wanna be able to pull through your patches or push through your patches. We have different brass connectors, which will help it from, uh, you know, destroying your barrel. So here is all of our brushes. And these are these are really, really nice. I gotta say, these are, these are a little bit nicer than I expected, to be honest with you. Either that or I just have such old stuff now that this stuff looks incredible to me, which is probably the case. Now, I'm sure there's some people out there that are wondering why this is called a tactical gun cleaning kit. And let's be honest, you know, the word tactical does get thrown around quite a bit these days. 
Well, the reason they call this a tactical gun cleaning kit is because it has parts and quite a few parts that are actually specific to your modern sporting rifle. So your AR-15s, AR-10s, 223, 556, 308, things like that. Uh, for instance, they have an upper receiver brush, they have a bolt carrier key brush, chamber brushes for 223 and 308, tube cleaning brushes. They even have this little hex handle right here for those parts that are like hard to reach in the upper receiver. So you can actually take one of these bits, put it in this little hex handle, and instead of getting your finger in the upper receiver, you can take this, put a little brush on it, and get up in there, maybe clean out your um, star chamber or clean out the run in the upper receiver where the gas key is. Uh, this is a pretty cool little piece right here, but it's set up, again, specifically for some of the modern sporting rifles that are on the market today. So uh, that's why it's called the Tactical Gun Cleaning Kit. So for me, what I'm going to do is I have, you know, my brushes and bristles and everything that I know that's going to fit with this specific kit. We'll put this right back on top here. And then what I'm going to do on the bottom here is specifically for your AR-15, I'm going to put star brushes, uh, things to clean out the star chamber, and maybe specific tools, specific items. I have my uh, shooter loop solvents and oils, so I'm going to take that, I'll put that in there. And different things that I might need for more specific firearms can all go at the bottom. And then when I have everything filled in the bottom, then I can you know just take my kit, put it right back on top, and then I have everything that I need for cleaning all nice and organized. But for me, I mean, that was the biggest part was just trying to stay organized and getting everything that kind of matched and worked together. Because again, like I said, I have a lot of these cleaning rods and they have adapters on them to uh, hold different stuff. The problem is you lose those adapters, you misplace the adapters, or you misplace some of those pieces, and now you have nothing. You basically have a rod and some of these right here. So having everything together nicely like this in the kit, that's that's pretty cool. And I think a lot of people would probably benefit from this. Again, throwing everything in your bot, you know, in the bottom right there would be pretty cool too. So anyway, yeah, this is my solution to my uh, gun cleaning kit drawer problem. So yeah, this will be replacing it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice little piece. If you guys are interested, I'll put a link in the description box. So you can check one out for yourself. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.